Hi guys, hope you're well. I can't wait to show you this delicious meal. It's mushroom stroganoff. And it's a recipe from page 30 from my brand new cookbook, Jamie's Veg. I'm so proud of it. This book, of course, is all about veg. And there's something for everyone. There's comfort food classics, really light food. Everything's vegetarian. There's a whole load of vegan dishes as well. There's nutritional information on every single page. There is a whole world of beautiful color. And here it is, page 30. So stroganoff was classic for being beef stroganoff. Of course, we've removed that, but we're going big on mushrooms. It's really simple, a small amount of ingredients, but an opportunity to really focus on how do you get incredible flavor out of these beautiful mushrooms. So starting off with 400 grams of beautiful mushrooms, this will be enough for a generous two portions. So if you go to the supermarket, you'll find a whole array of mushrooms. We've got some standard brown mushrooms, classic oyster mushrooms, Girol, I absolutely love these, but they all taste a little bit different, but they're all kind of, you know, giving you that deep sort of savory flavors that we love. You can just slice these up, no trouble at all. You can tear them. There's no right or wrong, just you know, rip them up like that. Make it a nice mouthful size. We're gonna get a big pan on a medium high heat and I'm not gonna add any fat at all. Cooking the mushrooms in a dry pan like this naturally brings out the nuttiness from the mushroom. So I probably eat vegetarian two or three times a week. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think to be a fully rounded cook. It's really good to not rely on meat to kind of get away with big flavor. So I find it a really positive thing for my cooking. I think it's a really positive thing for your health. Now, back in the pan, we're still dry frying, guys. So you're sort of lightly charring it. You're making it nutty. You can see the moisture's coming out. So while that goes on, I want to quickly prep the garlic and the onions. I've got one red onion. I'm just going to peel it, half it, and then finally slice it. But then I'm also going to finally slice the garlic. Everything's going to happen quite quickly from here on in. We'll give it a shake around, a little seasoning, salt and pepper, and some nice olive oil. So it's the first introduction of fat. The minute you add the oil, we're changing gear, right? So now we've gone from nuttiness to more sort of caramelization and frying. So as that fries around, I'm going to take just a few cornichons, four little silver skinned pickled onions. I'm just going to finely slice those. It gives you this beautiful sort of slightly acidic crunch. It's a really nice surprise. So I'm also going to add a little caper, so just a little tablespoon like that. I absolutely love it. So that goes in now. Add a nice pinch of paprika. That's going to give it a little spice. Absolutely beautiful. I want to add some parsley. Rip off the kind of herby part for later. And then with the stalks, don't throw it away. Finely slice the stalks. There's brilliant flavor in there, very sweet. And that's gonna go in the pan right now, and then I'm gonna flame it. Now, you don't have to flame it. I'm using whiskey, you could use cognac, you could use even gin, very, very nice. So give your pan a nice little shake like this. Then add your chosen alcohol, just a couple of good shots like that, and then flame it. There you go. Flaming it is gonna help to caramelize and flavor the vegetables, which is really nice. Of course, put your fan on, you know, get your hair out of the way, don't singe it. You know, be careful. You don't have to do this, but when you do flame the booze, you cook away the alcohol. And then what you're left with is the effort of the maker. Now at this part in the story, we're kind of done. All we have to do is add a nice spoon of creme fraiche. You could of course use cream, I'm gonna add just a little swig of water to give you a consistency of a nice creamy sauce. Go in with some roughly chopped parsley leaves. We'll bring that to the boil. And that, my friends, is gonna be a delicious stroganoff. I think it's a brilliant time now to embrace more veggie dishes. Whether you're veggie, vegan, or you're just trying to reduce the amount of meat dishes you have in the week, this is a brilliant, brilliant thing. And if it's delicious, it's delicious. You know, veggie food should never be a compromise. Have a little serve up. Look at the colors, guys. The lovely different shades and colors of the mushrooms. Look at that. You could serve this with noodles, but for me, it has to be fluffy basmati rice. So these have been cooked for like 12 minutes and I just put the lid on and let it steam. It will soak up all of that beautiful creamy sauce. This is absolutely one of my favorites. It really makes me happy when I eat this. It's a generous portion look. So there you go, delicious. Mushroom stroganoff, page 30 of the new book, Jamie's Veg. Right, enough yapping, let's have a try. So here we go. Mm. Rich and intense and delicious. Have a go, have a cook up. 
and enjoy.